soy el fuego que... Hey everybody, welcome back to your Realtor Sensei show. For those who don't know me, Sandra Hauregui Schloppitz, and today our guests are my power couple, Joshua <laughs> and Rebecca Soto. Hi, Hi how are you? Hello. Very good, how are you? Very good, and I'm so honored to have you here. Thank you very much to give me your time. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here and an honor for us as well. Yeah. Yes. Thank you Sandra. Uh, Rebecca and Jose Soto with Soto Legacy Groups, authors of the book, Married in Real Estate, Top Orlando Couples 2019, Narep Top 250, EXP Icon Agents for 2020. And if I continue with all what I know about them, I will never finish. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit how you two met, which is very important, and how did you get involved in real estate? Okay, all right. Well, and and thank you for asking that. That is something that we share in our book, Married in Real Estate. And again, you can pick a free copy up right now for a very limited time, marriedinrealestate.com. But how we met was several years ago, um, we I was working on a dental office and Josh came in as a patient and um, my manager at the time says, Rebecca, I want you to bring this 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 next patient in. He's a really awesome guy. I, I think he's on a break right now from his girlfriend. I was like, oh my God, wait, hold on. We're, we're seeing patients here. What are you talking about? And uh, and and I said, he's, he's not even on my schedule. I can't bring him in. She says, I'm your manager and you're going to bring him in. And I said, okay well if you say so so i brought him in took care of him but you know it it was so off the wall that i just treated him like a normal patient there was really nothing at the very beginning and uh, at the end of of the uh, appointment uh as he was on his way out he stopped to chat with the doctor as they usually did and um i was new at the time i was probably like a month into into that position and um and he's chatting about football and all this stuff and i remember coming up to them thinking let me just see if i can get into the conversation and see if i could just kind of you know be friendly and i don't really do football <laughs> hate me for that but i couldn't get into the conversation so i was like All right, well i'm just gonna walk away <laughs> and as i slowly turned away to walk out he immediately reeled me back in i was like hmm, okay <laughs> he's interested. so the rest is history um the rest of it is in the book and um you know we continued seeing each other eventually got married and um in 2006 now he was a truck driver and I was a dental assistant still. And, um, you know, we were wanting to do something more. It just what we were doing wasn't satisfying. Uh, it, his job was very taxing on his body. So we knew, I knew that he had to make a change. It was too much. And um, one day as I was visiting a friend of mine, she said, you know, Rebecca, you would be really great as a, a real estate agent. Have you considered that? And I thought, wow, I, I hadn't thought of it. And I don't know why I hadn't thought of it before. And I said, this is perfect. I think this is something we could do together and uh, and really make an impact you know, helping families. And uh, it's just something that we really, really were interested in. So it's a journey that we embarked on together. So you know, that's been a wonderful career. And we've been now 21 years. We're celebrating wow. we're married together. And uh, so the book just kind of talks about our life, our journeys, a lot of mistakes that we made along the way. And uh, what we hope is that people, as they read the book, could learn from some of those mistakes and some of those successes that we had and be able to reflect on their own life. Yeah, I heard, I heard that there is a lot of people say, it must be very difficult to work together with your husband in the same company. <laughs> so tell me about that. <laughs> you know, I don't, I, 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 we hear it a lot, but to personally, you know, I, I, I see it as, I think even if you had another partner, a business partner or something, is still, you know, there's always indifferences. But, you know, as long as you guys, co you know, work things out correctly and professionally and respectfully, I think it's, it's everything is workable, you know. I mean, we've been doing it for 15 years now. We've been in the real estate industry. We run our own teams and uh, we own the progress for almost 10 years. And it's been phenomenal, you know. I'll be honest with you. I don't think we were 
I wouldn't be where I'm at without her and vice versa. We feel the same way. You know, mm -hmm. we enjoy working with one another. We know our strengths. We know our weaknesses. We collaborate. We work together. And that's that's what matters. I think that I always see it as everything is possible, you know. Um, you know, when we wrote the book, I mean, the book is more reflected on our story, but it, it's really for everyone. You don't have to be married to really read this book. It's, it's something. Or in real estate. Or in real matter. estate. You know, it's <laughs> a lot of life lessons that we've learned. Some of the mistakes, some of our downfalls, some of our 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 um great times and you know what's important to us and how know? we've how we've succeeded on all these years but i think that's also why we came up with the five c's of a healthy partnership um because you know we have gotten that question a lot how do you work together and um and so with the five c's we got commitment cooperation communication uh com compromise and community so um josh you want to talk a little bit about commitments well, you know, the first the first one that we start off is with commitment. We all we all have to be committed to something. You know, if you're if you're in real estate, you have to be fully committed into working your business. You know, so you have to be committed to one another. What's important if you're working with a partner, you have to be committed for one another. And I mean relationship wise, and I mean business wise, both both of them. And you guys, most most important is honestly, Sandra, is you have to have an all in mindset. You can't be one foot in, one foot out. It's like you're all in or you're not, mm -hmm. you know. So I think that's one of the biggest struggles that we've seen in our industry. You know, um, if you're going to work together, you got a partner, work together. This is a partnership, you know, let's warm together. And and you got to be partners for life, which is important for us, you know. And you got to be committed to not just your work schedule, but your your life schedule right so like mm -hmm. you know your work day has to end at a decent time that you could still come home and appreciate your family and be present with that family right yeah. so committed to work but also committed to to your partner right you know go ahead no no go ahead yeah no i was going to say yes it's so difficult to balance work our kind of work real estate and family so seeing that and reading a lot that you have to make the time to to be with your family is so important yeah without that um i think the family suffers greatly and it starts to eat away at those relationships because you you need to invest that time so um sometimes we get into a mode where we're just working overworking too much and um and when the family suffers everything suffers so it's important to keep that family life you know active present and and that's what we're working for right we're working for our families to to give them a better life right so yeah we have to keep in mind that who we, who we're doing this all for you know and it's for our family you know so at the same token we have to try to find that balance between our family and our business and the next c is cooperation cooperation. <laughs> cooperation so you know this one is a big one because i think you have to be committed to cooperate with each other daily right and so you're supporting each other's your dreams and your goals and you're bringing your goals together right to create one vision to create a plan so you keep each other in check you keep each other in mind and if you have kids consider their goals as well right so whatever goals they have consider them and make it one big family vision plan and um and i think that when you're when you do that you learn to work with each other and the kids want to cooperate with you as well because because you're taking their thoughts into consideration their wants their desires as well into consideration and if you're committed the cooperating will be uh easy you understand because they go hand in hand you know and it's important to to involve your your family in your goals and everything you know so that's one of the things that we've done together so and i haven't seen you guys and it's amazing and not only i i see not only the collaboration between you i see the collaboration to everyone that will go and ask to you guys for help and that's amazing that is really great that there is people that they are there to help. Even if I said, oh, I'm overwhelmed. Who I taught? Rebecca. <laughs> so you are always available. Um, I don't know how you can do it because I know you have your, your team and you're growing in, out of the country and you are also out of the state. So you're balancing um, very well your life, your business, and be everywhere as well. <laughs> Thank 
Thank you. You know, we try our best and, you know, um, it, it's important to us to try to help each other, to help other people as well. And I think for me, when early on, I was always trying to see who I could look up to, who could help me. And uh, and I found sometimes, I found myself frustrated. And uh, and so I wanna be available to people when whenever the chance comes around. And I know I won't be able to do that for everyone all the time. Uh, you happen to catch me in a good moment that day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you know, I, I do try to make myself available as much as I can. And, um, and, and it's important to me. It's, it makes me feel good when I can help someone else. Yeah, and it really is. I think that throughout whole, our whole entire career, even on personal life, we'll, Rebecca's always been like that. So that's one of the things I love about her. She's always a giving and loving person towards everyone. So I learned a lot from her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's why she's so successful. And well, you are successful. So yeah. The yeah. collaboration, the the giving, the love, it has to do a lot for for a career. So yeah, it's it's great. So yeah. what roles do you play each in the in the real estate, like in your office? What role well, do you play? So um, that has certainly evolved through the years and changed. Uh, right now, Josh is. Uh, leading the the team with the production side of everything, and then I'm on the marketing and training and and um, taking care of the agents on onboarding and things like that. Yeah, we and, and vice versa. Honestly, Sandra, I don't think we really look at things like that. We both are experts at what we do, you know. So we we respect one another, and you know, um, Rebecca is a phenomenal agent when it came to just working with her clients and everything, you know, for many years. So. You know, we don't look at it as a as a positional thing. We look at it as a partnership, everything. A partnership, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we kind of fill the gaps wherever anything is needed. So, I mean, we just work seamlessly together that way. Now, to bring in the successful team that you have and to be where you are, how do you separate your personal life to with business? That's a good question. How do you separate your personal life from your business? Um, I don't know. I think because during the day, we, we do try to keep it for the most part like a nine to five as much as we can. No, there's always going to be those those times that you have clients that um, you can only talk to them in the evening because they work during the day, right? So um, for that, I think, I think it's important uh, because we're in the same industry, we're um, cognizant of that. And so we, we don't really get frustrated if there is a phone call that has to come in in the evening. But for the most part, we enjoy um, our evenings together. I think it's always been, no, it has always been our um, goal to have like breakfast together in the mornings and then dinner together. I mean, if we could do lunch, that's great. We're not always together, <laughs> but at least dinner with the family, right? With the kids and everyone, um, that's always been important to us as well. And so, um, and then spending that extra quality time. So whether it's, you know, here at the house, playing games, karaoke, watching TV, going out to the movies, or just anything, any extra um, activity that we can do together. We love that. We live for that and traveling together as well. So um, sometimes even on our business trips, we um, take a few extra days just to spend that quality time together, whether it's just me and him taking a few extra days or we might even bring you know, one of our kids to the event. And then, of course, spend that extra time with them um, on those days as well. So that's very important. Very, yeah. very. I'm, I'm planning to take my son to the Dallas event. So <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that because I am also bringing my son and my daughter, oh, but they are going to be attending the event. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and that's nice. Well, mine is 10. I don't think he will be interested. But, you know, no. I get involved with all these. And, uh, like, every morning I, I listen to Tony Robbins. And he knows. He he can hear his voice and he says, oh, Tony's talking. <laughs> like, he knows him very well. Like, oh, yeah. I know him. I think that that is amazing that he that he hears him even if he's not fully present there's always something positive that they're picking up and some of it is very basic you know so that yeah. kid 
can understand. And I think if that's what they're surrounded with hearing, um, it's going to instill those values in them. They're going to look up to that because that's what they've always heard. So I think that's amazing that he knows of Tony Robbins and has heard him, even if in just the distance. But Tony Robbins has a kid program too. So we should look mm -hmm. into that. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> I know the wife of couples, but I yeah. didn't know about the, the kids. Yeah, they have a he has a teenagers program, yeah. Oh, great, great. I will I would look up to when he gets to the teenage. I don't want that yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your favorite pastime? What do you guys have for hobbies? For hobbies. Um hobbies, hobbies, hobbies. Well, we um me personally, I'm a sports guy, so I like to watch TV sports sometimes. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm not I just, a sports person, but time, I do enjoy having people over. I entertain. <laughs> yeah, just, Rebecca entertains. We like to enjoy each other's company. You know, we try to get out as much as we can, and even with it with the kids, you know. So it's it's important that you know that those hobbies are included in your business goals. Every anything you know you do in your daily life, so. We enjoy everything. We enjoy honestly. Our biggest joy together is traveling together. Honestly, I know. I don't. I don't know that we have any one particular hobby. Yeah, we have so many traveling and and uh, doing excursions together. So whether it's snorkeling or riding bikes, and you know. Yeah, and you know what else too? We enjoy spending time with some of our our friends, our closest friends, and our partners. We love that, you know, because. You know, when it comes down to, to to you know these partners and these friends that we have, we're always we're in aligned with one another. We're we we help each other. We communicate. It's just it's, it's been phenomenal, honestly. That's that's great. How did your real estate life or business change when you did the move to EXP Realty? Oh, our business like tripled huh. instantly almost. Um, I think I think for us, and we did have, I, I feel, uh, personally me, I had a bit of a mindset block before coming into EXP. We had, um, when we first came into the industry, we started off in an independent brokerage. And as we grew and the market changed, uh, the fall of the economy and everything, we um, we were we were doing okay. And so we opened up our own business, our own company. So we had an independent brokerage that we opened up in 2010, and we we remained as an independent brokerage for nine years. Now the brokerage we kept it just kind of small. We we was just primarily husband wife team, a few other agents, and um, and so some of the pains of growing was really what was weighing on me because we needed better systems, we needed technology. And although we had invested in some technology, it's a lot to keep up with because technology is moving so fast all the time. Uh, the other thing was the real estate industry is continuously changing as well, which is great. And we um, maintained, you know, staying on top of the market for all these years, but we knew that we needed to make a change in our business if we were going to go, you know, to take us from here to the next 20 years or more, right? And so we started looking at our options to see what would be the best fit for us. And we just really did check off all the boxes for us, right? Um, it had all of the things that we were looking for, plus the support, plus this amazing family, the Global Alliance that we joined. And, um, and, uh, and it's just, to me, it it not only helped me personally but we've grown so we came in with about about two agents ourselves plus two other agents when we made the transition and now we have about 150 plus wow. uh, organizations so we have and that's in less than two years so we have certainly more than tripled <laughs> That's a great inspiration just to hear that. <laughs> and, and, and most, and I love that Rebecca touched on everything. And, and it, one of the things that 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 really that I can think of off the top, and I love that she said, is just to the collaboration and the partnerships that we have right now. You know, we're able to really see and grow with, with one another and learn from each other, and just you know, this is just. It's more like a family. I don't even see it as a partnership, you know, because we're able to really dive deep in and what's working, what's not working, and just kind of collaborate and see how we can all grow each other's business. So, you know, that's something that, you know, we really didn't have before. And, you know, and on top of that, you know, our business have 
doubled or tripled in the last 19 months since we've been here. You know, personally, I'm talking production wise. So, and, and team, our team has grown phenomenally. And mm -hmm. honestly, it's, it's been an amazing, amazing journey so far, early journey, because it's only been 19 months, but we're very blessed. Wow, it sounds like it, it's more to grow that, that I, I have been one year with the XP and I'm like, I am growing. I did change my mind mindset completely because I was always a solo agent and I wanted to be always a solo agent. So for me to change to where I am open my, with my team, I already have five and I'm planning to grow. It's how can we change that mindset that I was so set in, in stone and like, I'm going to be a solo agent. And seeing everybody, you on everybody that they are in the Global Alliance, it's really a family, which is, it helps you to change and it helps you to grow. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I think you touched on something there. Being part of that Global Alliance, that growth mindset that we all have, it's contagious. The energy is contagious. And you see the benefits and you're like, why am I not doing that? Hold on. What do I need to change? And so like anything else, you're going to have to implement new systems. You can't, you can't reach new levels doing the same things you've always been doing, right? So now you're successful. You're doing great. But if you want to break through to that next level, then you're going to have have to introduce something new so and i'm not saying about this about you personally that might be adding on a, t a tc adding on an assistant adding on a marketing director and of course bringing on you know buyers agents and then eventually other listing agents and and expanding your organization and so you can't do that all at once it's a process right so i would say just tackle the very next the very next step what do you, what do you need to do next to grow okay when are you going to do that and so then once you do that, I would say work work with that for a minute, right? And see how it goes. And once you once you are comfortable with that one step, then take the next one, you know? And you just one step at a time, keep growing. Because if you try to to, to add on all of those things at once, you're gonna go crazy. You don't know how to practice that. You have to learn how to you're gonna spin one plate, let that spin for a minute, get get you. <laughs> And then you could bring on a second plate and start spinning that one yeah. <laughs> and get used to that before you can bring on others, right? Yeah. And and honestly, I think that it, it's that's exactly how it's been. I'm glad you said that. That was really good. <laughs> so between all the to be busy growing your team, growing your the, the, the whole business idea, and I know you are part of um, the community, being being part of um, NAREP. And you are involved also giving back to your community. How do you find balance between that two? You know, that's a great question because honestly, I think that that's the number one priority that we all should be doing. Uh, you know, we, we have to start off, you have to find your passion. You know, when you find your passion and what you want, you want to do, dive deep into that because when, you, when you're able to give back, you know, open heartedly, not expecting anything back, everything else just fall into place, you know, and that's one of the things that Rebecca and I, we committed to doing six years ago, and it's been phenomenal, you know, that's important to us, you know, that's, you know, we, we're in NARA, but it doesn't have to be NARA for everyone, find that love and that passion that you have. And, and for an organization. For an organization. And you get know, involved, yeah. Our Any agents, our team members. And I tell you, I've seen so much growth in some of our team members because they started listening to us. I told them, get involved. Rebecca mentioned it to them. And all of a sudden, they're like so grateful for that because they're like, wow, and thank you so much because I really didn't see how wonderful it is when you're able to, you know, give back and be part of something and know that, you're, you're, that people are grateful for you giving the way you do. And it's helping grow your business, you know? So it's important that it's important that you're, you know, you're able to put that in your business goals every single year, you know? Yeah, that's, that's needed. Uh, so tell me also, how did you find time to write the book? How that idea came? And I know you did it when, <laughs> when it was COVID-19. So what happened? 
We actually started writing before that, before that all broke, uh, well, broke through. But um, the idea came from uh, making a partnership with a new person and for something totally different. And I, I invited a, a friend to come speak to our, to our agents and we did an event. And uh, after spending a day with him, he was like, oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. You really need to tell your story. I think it would impact a lot of people they would love to see how you guys work together because that that is really one of the number one questions how do you work together how do you balance it all and do you always get along of course <laughs> we always we have disagreements trust me but you learn to work with each other to compromise and communicate and cooperate and all those good things right but um when he mentioned it, I said, you know what, he's right. And we were celebrating our 20th anniversary. And I said, you know what, this is a good way to commemorate that. And uh, we just started, um, we scheduled a time once a week to start writing. And um, and that went from being once a week to, I think we need to take out some time daily. <laughs> and, and, it, and, and it required waking up a little bit earlier every day just to take that time to write before the phones start ringing before the appointments or the agents of the training and everything else boggles the day. Um, you, we just took a little time, a little extra time in the morning to get up and work on that. So um, it's something that within within about mm -hmm. three or four months, we had it completely written out and wow. able to put it together, yeah. yeah. But we did have a team, our publishers, that helped us to, to put it together as well. Yeah, it took us like, I think, in total like four months between publishing and everything mm -hmm. wow that is really like wow <laughs> <laughs> well i want to give you a big thank you rebecca Josue. thank you really very much remember for limited time they are offering their book for free and you have to go to www.marriedinrealestate.com um you need to read the book look at this uh, the example of a I call you guys my power couple. So it's really, um, I, I talk to, about you to everybody. Um, you are an example. You worked, all, you give so much to the community. Thank you very much um, to be part of my life as well. Uh, thank you. And yeah. it's a pleasure and it's an honor for us. As thank well. you so much, Sandra. And another thing I, um, we haven't touched on, if we also wrote a curriculum with the book. So anyone interested, you can just go on the, on the um, MarriedRealEstate.com, and you can see it. Great, great. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good weekend and go and inspire everybody else. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, guys. Bye.